Hello everyone, I am back again. Um, it's been about an hour and a half since my last video, maybe two hours, but more like an hour and a half. I wanted to show you uh, this uh, little generator I made, and at the same time I just wanted to show you I've been letting this wheel run since since my last video, and you can see we, we've uh, definitely gained uh, voltage on that battery and I wanted to stop this and show you that real quick so there's that battery we've been charging doing pretty good I'll show you the uh, voltage on the charge battery or the, or the primary battery I mean real quick you can see that it's definitely gone down it was like what a 1210 or something you know before so we've definitely drained this battery down but we've gained you know a pretty decent amount in the other one and you know this guy still runs this motor so um, anyway I just wanted to show you that I'm gonna let this run a little longer so start it up in the background here So I wanted to show you this uh, this little generator I made. This is basically a uh, attic fan. So, you know, something you buy with a big old fan around it vents your attic. Um, I had one of these laying around because it went bad. So what I did is I took the original uh, rotor out of it. This becomes an electromagnet makes the thing work turns it into a fan you normally plug this into the wall and spins and rotates so I replace this with my own rotor it's just hard to get out because all the magnets I got on here so I uh, made, made a wood block here that uh, has six sides to it originally I just glued these magnets on and they're in a north-south configuration this is a six coil thing I didn't touch the coils at all the reason why it didn't work was because it had a thermal uh, fuse in it and that blew so um, I replaced that from a part at Radio Shack and the fan was good to go again uh, so anyway, I made this rotor and then added these hard drive magnets to it and was just seeing what kind of a generator it could be. So I wanted to show you what kind of output I got from this thing by spinning this motor with a different source. You know, in other words, I'm using another motor to spin this thing and then seeing what kind of juice I get out of the two wires that you used to plug into the wall and I'm gonna cut the video and get it set up and then uh, edit it and put it all in one video but I wanted to show you the inner um, inner core of this thing it's just a bunch of magnets in there and I'll show you the results All right. All right, everybody, I am back uh, to show you this generator. Um, basically, what I've done is I've just mounted it into this uh, horizontal drill press, basically. I've got uh, a motor under here that's turning this generator that I showed you earlier. It's plugged into the wall. That's the switch. This is going to show you the output from the generator here which is connected to these three uh, fluorescent light bulbs they're the quick starting kind and uh, they are they draw 250 milliamps they're 13 watt bulbs and they're 120 volt bulbs so um, I'm gonna fire this thing up and show you what this thing can put out oh and uh, also the I haven't done the math, but I think it's running somewhere between 
2,000 and 2,200 RPM. I've got a two and a half inch pulley up here and a three and a half inch pulley down here and the motor is running at 1,700 RPM. So, you guys can do the math. I can't remember it. I can't find my notes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to turn this on and there you go. You got uh, it's firing those bulbs just fine. It's putting out 43 volts. Uh, I wanted to show you the Hertz. That was another thing. Right now it's putting out uh, 377 megahertz. So I wanted to show you that. Now um, go back to voltage. Okay. Now watch what happens when I attach these two capacitors. They're run capacitors. Um, happen to have them around here. Put them in parallel. Alright, so they're in parallel now, uh, just connected directly with everything, and now you can see I'm putting out much more brightness, and I'm running at 88 volts, and now my megahertz went down to 124, so thought I'd show you that. So adding those capacitors really helps. Then I would also show you what it does with incandescent bulbs. This is a 60 watt bulb. So you can see it doesn't really light that, that incandescent bulb up very much. Um, but the uh, fluorescence fire just fine. I think I have another bulb around here. Yeah. Throw one more incandescent in there. All right. So this is a this is an 80 watt bulb. But it won't even fire. It might be dead too, though, possibly. Disconnect that one. Yeah, that might be a dead bulb, but you can see it doesn't like to fire the incandescents as well as the fluorescent bulbs. So why not switch? Again, quite a bit of uh, luminosity. We got 63 volts coming off of that now. With this load. This bulb back in. Set this. And now, you know, those are really bright and we're back up to almost 90 volts. So there's a little generator. Uh, just some I put together and was having a lot of fun seeing the, this kind of output from it. So. That's y'all might want to see it. So there, there it is. Take care, everybody.